But the man with the one talent was the man that complained that his own gift was, he, he was afraid. He was afraid of inflation. He was afraid of thieves. He was afraid of robbers. He was afraid of whatever he was afraid of to do business. And he went and kept the one that he was given and hid it in the soil. And when he was asked to give account, he said, well, uh, take what you gave me. But that thing they gave him has depreciated. Praise God. If you kept $100,000 naira in the bank in, 19, in, uh, sorry, in 2018, and you go to the same 100,000 naira now in the bank, that money has depreciated. Praise God. Even if it is dollar you kept in the bank and it is $100 or $200 or $2,000 four years ago, by today, your dollar is no longer the same. It has depreciated. Because China is challenging it. There are other, the Russians are challenging it. And all these countries are challenging your, the, 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 the deposit. And it's no longer remaining the same. So the man said, take what you gave me. No. That's not what they gave you. What they gave you has depreciated. And that's the wisdom that if you are giving anything, use it. Can you hear me? Can you say amen with me? You use it. Deliberately, you use it. That's why I told you in the financial intelligence that when you are giving money, don't spend it. In, uh, what that, <laughs> invest it. What do I mean by that is that make it a hundred and spend some for your welfare, but keep a portion, 30% or 20% or 10% after you pay your tithe. Keep, multiply part of it. Because you may not have the same opportunity tomorrow. And then you'll see that what you have multiplied keeps multiplying. Can you say amen to that? Now, so that's what happened. So a bag of money in those days was a talent. All right, about 27 to 36 kilograms. Uh, that is 60 to 80 pounds of gold or silver or coins. And the servant who got five talents went quickly to invest his money. And these five bags of money and five more bags. And it was the same with the servant who had two bags. The servant invested the money and had two more bags. But the servant who, who got one bag of money went away and dug the hole in the ground then he hid this matter's money in the in the hole and after a long time the master comes home and he asks for, for the servants what they did with this money and the servant who got five brought five more and the one with two brought two more but this man said well um i don't know what to do i hid your money now the servant number one received five bags of money he went and invested the money maybe he bought some commodities maybe he bought rice maybe he bought maize maybe he bought cocoa maybe he bought coffee and he sold them at a profit maybe he bought bought soya beans maybe he bought ordinary beans i don't know what he bought and reinvested the entire amount all right and he traveled to buy some valuable goods and something of value through his own skill and other skills regardless he worked with his master's money and doubled it. Praise God. I said, praise God. The same thing soul winning. That's the same way soul winning works. Praise God. I mean, you sit here till 2050. You alone, you will remain alone. I'm so sorry. It's not a curse. Because you don't make any effort to win somebody else. And you keep praying. Praying for who? Why don't you pray for yourself that you evangelize? Oh, we pray that our church will be full of people. Full of which people? The people that you want. Oh, we pray that people will come to our church. Yeah, people will come to our church. Come to our church. How many did you invite? How many exactly did you invite? When they said the other time we are going for evangelism, didn't you run away? The church is inviting you to pray now, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe you run away too. Praise God. I said, praise God. I mean, these things are so apt. They are very apt. They are things we neglect. 
And then we keep complaining and we complain and complain. Whereas God has given us opportunity to use our gifts. We won't use it. And then we'll say God didn't answer prayers. Which God are you talking about? You're not talking about our father God. No. You're not talking about him. <laughs> you're talking about your own creation. Not the one that I know. And so God is in the midst of helping everyone that is ready to use the gift he has been given. So this man with two bags of money this similar he bought some fabric possibly and turned it into fashionable dress and then sold it to a puff he added value and then reinvested the money and he kept all the rest of the money working and doubled it the third man however dug a hole and put the money away for fear of depression and robbers and 419 and fraudsters to who might cheat him and maybe a wrong decision so paralyzed with fear he preserved the money in a safe place on his return the master demanded accountability Remember what he called this servant? He said he was wicked. What did he say about the servant? Eh? Wicked. He said he was wicked. That's what they said about that servant. They should bind him and cast him into outer darkness. Because he was useless. You may say that is harsh. But exactly that is how God regards many, many church members. Why? Because they know a secret of the kingdom and they never want to use it. And I pray that we will be delivered from that in the name of Jesus Christ. So, let me com complete. And the first gave account and said this is what he did. The second man likewise, he traded, took some risk, made two more bags of money and he was promoted. Listen to me. He took risk. He took risk in what he was giving. How do you take risk? I took risk to get to where I am today. Praise God. I took risk. A day I came to church, a very far away in Ashi there, and I said, there is somebody there. You have this one, this one. And nobody came out. And I was left stranded. Maybe you gave a word of knowledge. Nobody responded. And then you stopped giving word of knowledge because you were ashamed. That's how I was that day. And my shame lasted for nine months. The nine months, the woman came to the altar and said, Praise thy God. Praise thy Lord. And everybody said, Hallelujah. He said, Did you remember, Pastor? Said there was one woman at the back who uh, had a, a problem with pregnancy and baby. I am the one. Look at my baby now. That day, they knew I didn't tell a lie. But they counted me a liar nine months ago. It was risk. It was risk. Praise God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It was risk. And that's how faith spells. Faith spells R-I-S-K. If you are not willing to be ashamed, keep your pride. You will remain with your pride and nothing will happen. Because it's pride. Are you the one supposed to heal the sick? Are you the one to heal the sick? No, you're not the one to heal the sick. Do your part. Lay the hands on the sick and see whether he will not be healed. <laughs> praise God. I said praise God. Now that's, those are difficult issues in the church. And we try to avoid it. But we cannot avoid what I'm talking about. You are, you know, that's what they told this man. That he was a bad and lazy servant. And you must, you, 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 you say you knew that I harvested what I did not plant. And I gathered crops where I did not put any seed. So you should have put my money to the bank. Then when I come, I, I would get more, more money from that bank. And I would also get the interest that my money earned. So the master told the other servants, take what one bag of money from him and give it to the servant that has ten bags. And everyone who uses what, what they have, we get more. And they will have much more than they need. But people who do not use what they have, will have everything taken away from them. Then the master said, throw the useless servant outside into darkness, where he will cry and grind his teeth with pain. That was serious. And that's what still the Lord does today. 
Praise God. I said, praise God. Now, I don't have time today, but go to nations where God gives them resources, like Nigeria. Remember Gowon's time. They told us that Nigeria didn't know what to do with money. Is that not those of you that are alive at that time? They said Nigeria didn't know what to do with money. That's what they told us then. And then they began to misspend it. Today now, we are near, I don't know how many, trillions of dollars in debt. Trillions of dollars in debt. And people say, well, it doesn't concern them. Well, it won't concern you because uh, I don't know why it won't concern you. But the fact of the matter is that it concerns everybody. So the law of use has the opposite side of the law of not using. So finally, and listen to me, because we are going to get to practical now. I'm going to pray for as many people as I can pray for. Now listen to me carefully. You see, when you have opportunity, use what you have. Can you say amen with me? Take a husband and a wife in the same house and they are not growing alike. One is developing his mind and is reading and is studying and is getting further away in some, some subjects. And the other couple is just lazy himself or herself and is doing nothing about improving himself. By the time they stay together for 10 years, they will suggest divorce. Why? Because the other partner will have gone very far on his own tangent. Why the other one will still, uh, uh, still uh, uh, not do anything? <laughs> praise God. I said, praise God. Same thing in any company. Give them money. Give a company money. And you see a very swift uh, uh, chief executive use what he has and give the same amount of loan to another person. And then they are, you know, they are, they are dilly-dallying and they don't know what to do. You come and check the two companies five years' time. You see, there's a problem. Praise God. I said, praise God. Put a man in charge of a church and he's complaining, 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 complaining. He will lose the church. He will lose the church, lose everybody. That's the way it works. But if he takes just one soul that is giving and multiplies that soul, and as we have explained here before, if you win one person in one year and that person solidly stands and the two of you go out the second year and you win one more person and you are four in the second year and the third year you are eight and the fourth year you are, you are 16 and the fifth year you are 32 and the sixth year you have 64 and on and on like that by the 13th year if you meet an evangelist that is winning 1000 people per day in a crusade by the time you get to the 14th year the man who started with one will be equal to that evangelist that win 1000 people a day that's the miracle of the curve that's the miracle of quadruple equations. That's the miracle of compound interest. That's the miracle of what you call compound interest in the bank today. It starts gradually. I mean, when we went to Korea, they gave us a graph of Young Gicho's church. And it started from zero. And then they began to measure from 3,000 after four years. And then the, the thing was growing slowly. Suddenly, the inflection point came. And the graph suddenly turned upwards. No longer addition. It was now multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. And many years ago, I drew my own graph too, somehow. And it looked similar. Now, so what I'm saying is this. When we started full stature, there were only 30 of us. Only 30 of us. And nobody that time was complaining about anything. Everybody accepted the word of God and they moved on. And they did the work the best they could do. We have not stopped at the same time. Even today, we have not stopped. And that is why it looks like maybe in the local church like this, we are, look like we are less or we are not many. And the reason is, many of our leaders have gone out of this place to plant other churches and they are doing well with what they are doing. 
And so we here have to start all over again. Praise God. But we will not stop. We can't stop. We can't stop. And that's what I've been talking about. When the other day I saw somebody, I said, listen, I said, we are going to, we are going to England now to do Advancing World Missions Conference. How did it start? How did it start? It started in a parlor of my son. Started in a parlor. Somebody came and said, I've been looking for the Holy Ghost for 15 years. What, what, what? I don't know how to receive Holy Ghost. For 15 years, I've sought the Lord. I said, kneel down. Laid hands on him. He got baptized in the Holy Ghost. The demons that were troubling him left. Today, he himself is a prayer warrior. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? And through him, we went to Bedford. We were in Bedford for first year, second year, third year. Then we had some friends in Birmingham. We went to Birmingham for two years. And then last year we went to, uh, you know, Manchester or thereabout. Now, because the thing keeps multiplying and people get to know what we are doing. And many people getting interested in what we're doing. If we just, if I fold my hands and I stay in Ibadan, in my bedroom, and I say, well, I think I'm old enough, I ought to drink, uh, I ought to drink tea. Uh, if I drink tea and I'm tired, I think I can sleep. I think I have money enough now. At least I have children that will support me to the end of my life. I mean, what kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> Praise God. I mean, I don't do some kind of things. I mean, I don't believe in retirement. <laughs> I don't believe it. I can retire from the work that I'm doing now, but there is no retirement in preaching. You preach till you die. <laughs> Praise God. I said, praise God. You keep on using this inspiration and this power that God has given you. Keep on multiplying it. Keep on helping other people. I can tell you testimonies of this week of people that God has helped. And they are still coming back to say, ah, Pastor, what you told us yesterday, somebody came here and told me. He said, did you remember you preached this message? He said, I can never forget. Do you remember you preached this message? And this was the guy that was our, was our, our warrior in Ebora many years ago at the time I sent him there there was a lonely sister there sister Kofo and when this brother got there it released the sister to go and do further education and then when, later we brought this brother out I remember sending another brother and another brother and so on and so forth the place now is full of churches planted by these brothers now how will I go to such a place and then I will not be received obviously so what I'm saying is this. You have to use what you have. No matter how small it is. No matter how small. If it is prayer, multiply it. If it is singing, multiply it. If it is uh, tongues, multiply it. If it is healing, multiply it. it. Whatever it is, you keep on using it, using it, using it, using it, using it, using it. The more you use it, the more it works. And the more it works, the more it works, the more it works. And you don't stop it working. Companies that have lasted a thousand years, have lasted a thousand years because they have a culture. And they have a principle. They have a policy. They have a focus. They have goals that they set. And they have these principles that back them up. Anybody that cannot do it. And they recognize in two years. That this person is not getting this bank to go forward. They remove him and put somebody else. Praise God. Are you with me? That's, that, that's the way it works. Finally, brothers and sisters, I remember my pastor many years ago. He got to a time, all the overseers, of course, he is the leader, and he listens to everybody. <laughs> and we go there at different times. And I noticed that many times, some of the overseers will come to Lagos, and they want to see him, and he doesn't want to see them. When some of us get, get there, they will make way. They will make way. They give us chance to see him. When some of the others come, they don't allow them to see him. Once they know he's so and so coming, they just say no, that he doesn't have time to see the person. Why? Because some overseers were used to giving negative reports every time. So he doesn't want to listen to their negative reports. There are some missionaries, they will come to Lagos and they will be there first month, second month, third month, fourth month and they won't see, they won't see pastor. 
Why? Because they want money. They want this. They want that. But there are other, other missionaries who will come and you will see them. Why? Because their work that they are doing is encouraging. Of course, later, later, he look for a way to remove those overseers and put somebody else. Now, for you, you may not like that as a human being. That's why I'm telling you that this is the secret of the kingdom. It's not natural. It's not something that is convenient. It's not something that you do and then it's something that you like. No, nobody likes anything that is hard for the flesh. No, nobody likes it. Oh, leave me there. I can spend 50 years there and just be marking time. Just leave me. I am okay. I don't need any improvement. I am all right. And the person, God, who owns the job, says, no, you are occupying space. You are standing at the door like the Pharisees. You are not going out and you are not coming in. And you are not allowing those who come in to come in. So, please, move aside. That's what God does. Praise God. I said, praise God. So, I pray for you in your family. Whatever gift you have in your family to serve that family, it will begin to work tonight as you put it to use. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you that are working in companies, those of you that are working in the church, those of you that are working with camera, those of, I, the other day I came here on Monday, and I said, brethren, let's read Acts chapter 14. And we read Acts chapter 14. I said, let's read verse 1 again. And then we read verse 1 again. And I began to explain what the, the verse, just one phrase there. I said, this is what it means. The Bible said, the apostles so spake. They so speak. They so speak. They so speak. In other words, they communicated effectively. So at a point, one of the sisters read her Yoruba version. And he said, Only what's this sorobe? What's this sorobe? The bear was long. They so speak. And a multitude believed. So, what gift did Paul and Barnabas had? They could communicate. They had the language. They had the Holy Spirit. They could communicate. And the people believed. And they were saved. And so I'm praying that God will use everything we have to bless us personally. And also bless our families. And also bless the kingdom of God. Anywhere we go, we will stand out. Are you with me? We will stand out. But if you are not a practitioner of what I have said tonight, forget it. You take the, this outline of labor that I worked on all night, three nights, and then you go and throw it away and you throw it somewhere. God bless you. Praise God. But me that wrote it, I won't forget. Me that sweated, I won't forget. <laughs> me that labor i won't forget i will use what i have let's rise up and pray i believe that god has spoken enough to those of us that are listening and i believe that god is able to make abundantly out of what god has given us tonight these are the secrets that god has one of them to give us and the law of use is one of such secrets it works everywhere 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 in medicine it works in football it works in bank it works in church it works everywhere it works it works literally any kind of profession is works nothing uses itself but a man handling something he begins to use it just bible begins to quote it then it will work so i want us to pray that god will grant you grace to be able to do something with your life it will be able to do something with the grace that God has given you to multiply abundantly, not only little, but abundantly, not only small, but abundantly to spread all over the earth. 
Nothing prevents you from spreading all over the earth, all over Nigeria. Nothing prevents you from having a convert in Lagos or London or anywhere else. Nothing prevents you. If you have the grace, if you have the gift, if you have the ability, if you have the ability to sell, if you have, have ability to influence, if you have the ability to give, if you have the ability to sing, if you have ability, whatever ability, it is practice and practice and practice and practice and doing and doing and doing and doing then it brings you to the top it brings you to the surface it brings you to the front it brings you to outside and then you are able to exhibit the grace of god that is in your life and soon and sooner and sooner than later everybody will recognize this man is gifted this lady is gifted this man is gifted this woman is gifted this child is not just a child is gifted in this area and that area that's what the lord is saying to us tonight it's a secret in the kingdom of god whoever uses it will be rich whoever uses it will be number one whoever uses it will be at the top whoever uses it will prosper whoever uses it will be a shiny star in the realm of the spirit whoever uses it will be able to accumulate spiritual wealth to himself it works in every area it helps in human development it helps in medical development it helps in social development it helps in family development it helps every area of work that's why it is one of the most important laws in the kingdom of God use what you have and you see it multiplying detach yourself from what you have and you see that you are losing and you are losing and you are losing and you are losing but God forbid from tonight in the name of Jesus can you pray after me and say father in the name of Jesus from this day forward whatever you have given to my life I didn't hear you whatever you have given me i promise oh lord to use it to the maximum in the name of jesus from this night bless me specially from this night every spirit of sluggishness every spirit of foolishness from this night everything that delay father i command them to live my life in the name of jesus come and buy them cast them out totally out of your life and say i am not your friend you things that delay you things that cause a discouragement get out of my life because the devil will keep on monitoring you so that you don't do well it will keep on searching for you to hinder you and delay you even though you have great great opportunity even though you have great great opportunity before you it will keep telling you you can't make it it will keep telling you it's not possible it will keep telling you no you can't do it yes the lord is here right now i feel the lord is anointing somebody somebody is being anointed right now somebody is being anointed in, in, in your head somebody is being anointed on your head right now god is anointing somebody right now is depositing a gift in your life because you believe what the word of god is saying you are not a resenter of the word of god you are an acceptor of the word of god you are happy to receive the word of god and as i'm talking right now the holy ghost is upon you the holy ghost is upon you on the right on the left side possibly it's a woman there's a woman here god is anointing you as i'm talking and he's giving you increase in your life if you are the person please come forward right now i want to pray for you before i close if you're a woman and god is anointing you or you saw yourself in a dream and somebody laying hands on you in your dream and you suddenly woke up and you didn't see anybody this is the time god is wanting to use you and make you to be somebody that is outstanding where are you i want to pray for you tonight where is the person at the back or somewhere wherever you are right now i believe that god is doing something marvelous in your life and he wants to make sure it is perfected in the name of jesus christ and so today god is going to exalt you in jesus name in jesus name i said in jesus name is there anybody can i see anybody you want me to pray for you please come forward if you want me to pray for you right now because of what i have said because i know it's a woman because it's happening on the left side of my body so i know that it is a lady that god wants to bless so i wanted to come forward and just I pray for you a little bit and then we go home 
I want you to just lay your hand upon yourself. Lay your hand upon your own head. And I want to pray for you just like that. Because God will honor your faith by coming out. By honor your faith. By the thing that is already doing secretly. And nobody's eyes can see it. But it is a deposit of the spirit upon you this night. And God wants you to regard it seriously. And go to put to use what God has done. Now, I'm going to lay hands on you, but stand on your feet. I don't want anybody falling down. I want to stand on your feet. So I'm just going to lay my hand on you very lightly and pray for you in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, from this night, I pray that the Holy Spirit will rest upon this young lady. That wherever you go, the wisdom of God will be made manifest in your life. The energy of the Spirit will push you and get you to do and use your gifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, there will be no more delay in your life. What you desire shall come your way. And God of heaven will bless you in your family. God of heaven will use what you have in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of God the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. I pray for you that today will be a day that you will remember for the rest of your life. That some spark happened tonight. And you are never the same again. Including you and your children. You will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. My sister receive wisdom wisdom to make a choice receive wisdom wisdom to make a choice the choice of your life receive wisdom tonight to make a choice yes as i close my eyes i see you undecided but tonight you have received wisdom feel the wisdom of god to make a choice for your life that fear that you have is departing that fear of making a mistake is gone and you are now free your heart is now light to be able to decide who to marry in the mighty name of jesus and drank a thunder pass of lick at Tara Bahia. I brought a tambo sushi panda Bahia. And drank a thunder posa. A labra thunder feed the hallelujah. I am also tank a panda lo babuda. What you have lost will be regained some other way. I broke a bundle of piety sala. Whatever bondage was, was there, the Lord will use it to exalt you and bring your name to the a place you do not know those who know you shall call you and you will find yourself in high places rest a sharp and look a bundle higher around the social panda beginner your skill will increase the skill of your hands and your brain will increase I broke a vent at a pasuta I broke a vent at Asa. your skill will multiply even as you use it you will see other people and their pattern and you begin to learn as well and your pattern will be will be number one in the mighty name of Jesus I broke a banter yeah the Lord will open to you that nobody can shut in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord answer your prayer my sister the Lord answer your prayer including one for your children in the name of Jesus that which you have seen before that is a curse in your one of your children is not defeated and the child and your daughter is made whole Rasa to broke a vanta to keep them higher and Libo sushi broke a vanta labora, a rabonde social pata with your mouth. You will see her delivered and set free and married, and no side effect in the name of Jesus. A ranto sopo katakara and break a thunder posa likadaha. The Lord bless you, madam. The Lord increase you in the name of Jesus. Reto pondasa tolebaha, a broke a vanta tapa. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. A broke a vanta. Tom Sevika Tala Bahia receive wisdom to make a choice in your life. I brought to Tom Bosota Paka, I broke a vasa. Your ability to choose will no longer be dented. I broke a fat to depths of fake a tatabaha and a look bosa. Thank you, Father. I break a dosu tali in the pala and drank a don dozu kibi in the muhaya. I broke a veta Tom Masuta. I broke a vata libi 
Leo who de Baraka and that's a who broke a fanta posa a la bito domasu le kika a bro batalika mosa. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. I broke a bunch of sheep de Vadika. You doubt what will be, but I tell you tonight what will be that your hand will be lifted up to do that which God wants you to do. Skills shall be put in your fingers, and when you begin to do it, nobody shall doubt that you're a child of the living God. And break a tondesa tole binikaya. And break a vanta times the veki tandela babude. I read the mosita. Yeah, don't waste your time on those things that do not profit. I broke a bonta tapes of a kaka. So break your pattern of play. Break your pattern of occupation. Break your pattern tonight. I brought the shoot at Labahaya and concentrate on the gift that God has given you and use it and use it and use it. I break a don't to so pragetta. I broke a bata la pazushe. I broke a fanta la bahida sota kara. And that bahaya. I broke a fanta la bahaya from your mouth. Yeah, that's your shape the bahida. You will shape lives. I, from your mouth, your mouth will shape lives. Your mouth will shape lives. Your mouth will shape your children. I broke a tonta poli kam de bebida. I broke a vata tasa. That which you have now might be private as of today, but it shall become public. I break a tobaso tali and the higher and be multiplied the hundredfold uh, unto the accuracy that even the, the worst doubter will begin to believe uh, that what you say is going to come to pass. Uh, I broke a vate libo sude hala baraka and broke a vate dombo sude caps of attacker. Yeah, this gift in your life shall multiply and you have boldness with it. Uh, the ability to teach the word of God. Uh, I break a tonta apostle taka that anointing that holy oil that cold that cold that cold oil like it fell on the house on the house on the heart of moses and the children of israel to teach israel wisdom so shall it fall upon your life uh, i broke a vat of thomas so shall higher and drake a bonzo here pala and dratona posuta a rato dump the vikia thomas sosha today you, you become changed. You change from your fear. You change from your doubt. Your experience in the Lord shall be solid. I break a tonta pasoleka and you will move forward with gallantry. I brought sutekai and prosunde palika bratuli posada and break a toli bosuda. Hallelujah. I'm the vosu teleka paza. I brought the kib de mahula. I just you shibda. God bless you with the resources of earth and the resources of heaven. I'm breaking Mosuli ham de vigiga. The Lord give you wisdom. The Lord give you understanding. And break upon satika ability to negotiate, ability to be involved with conflict and win, ability to discuss, ability not to be agitated. That you get into conflict and you will win every conflict. God begins to shift your heart today to understand conflict and to resolve conflict. I broke a fat at patience is imparted from above into your heart and peace remaining with you in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah can we raise up our hand and praise the Lord I, I know you have spent some time with me I mean that's the way it is I want to be able to give the best to you and it doesn't really matter I know that God will take you to where you are coming from gloriously and gallantly in the name of Jesus if you don't find transport just call me I'll carry you there this night Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for what you have shared with us tonight. Lord, repeat it again and again in our heart. That we will never, never, oh, wow, we need delay. Oh, wow, we need delay. Our hand will produce for us. This land will produce for us. We will not run helter-skelter. Before this land will produce for us. We speak to Ibadan land to produce for us. We speak to Nigeria land to produce for us. As long as we are active, as long as we are doing your will, Lord, multiply resources in our families, in the work we do, in the name of Jesus. And Father, those of us that are going out to evangelize, help us to harvest fruit and get fruit from right, from left, from front, from center. As we pray and fast, Lord, multiply our spiritual maturity in the name of Jesus. Let the gift of God multiply in our life. As we make the sacrifice to do the vigils and to pray, let the grace multiply in our lives in the name 
name of Jesus, let no time, let no space, let no space pass that we don't see improvement in our life. Let it be so in the name of Jesus. If we may do an exam, we will pass the exam. If it means reading, we shall read well. If it means looking at somebody and how the minister, the Lord will help us to be stronger in communicating the gospel in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. May the, may the Spirit of God multiply what we have said in our privacy. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone said, Amen. Father, we thank you. Just raise up your offering. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of